Hey everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Thank you once again for tuning in. We're back here at Firelink Shrine. And uh, we had gotten some pretty significant progress into Cathedral of the Deep. We should be finished up with that area today. And maybe uh, maybe we'll start with the uh, Farron Swamp. Or maybe we'll see if there's some other story stuff we can clean up as well. I think I want to progress through uh, Fair and Keep as much as we can before getting to the Abyss Watchers, and once we're there, I think I'll go and uh, go back into the uh, Ariandel DLC and see what that's all about. Because I want to get as many levels as I can before I face the Abyss Watchers, so I can get as much value out of the free souls from Yol as I can. So, uh, I don't have enough to level up. I did just buy some more arrows just to be safe. I actually can't really... I can only get wooden arrows from the Shrine Handmaiden because I haven't really handed in a lot of Umbral Ash yet. But I do have that ash I got from Ariandel I wanted to hand in and uh, get recorded in case she says anything interesting. How may I... Gracious... Passing fine ash thou'st given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> and nothing interesting at all. Let's see. Let's see. No, no new. Oh, what are these? Millwood Great Arrow. Ooh. Those might actually be interesting. Lots of damage. Heavy, sturdy, gray arrows made of black oak that deal heavy damage but have limited range. Can only be fired using a great bow. It is said that the Millwood Knights used these to face their sworn enemy, the Abyss Dragon? Oh my. That's uh, the first I've learned of that, I'm pretty sure. Well, that sounds like Ashen something fun to look forward to. Sure to bring more souls. Yeah, yeah, I heard you the first time. Alright, back to the cathedral. We've got a date with some, uh... God, what's that boss called? Deacons of the Deep? Date with some deacons. As well as some more uh, story stuff I missed the first time. Let's see, which one of these was the new shortcut? I think it was this one, because this leads up to the rafters. Yes, that's correct. Got lots of bad guys in this area. Probably avoid most of them. Gosh, it's really disappointing those guys don't drop in one hit, considering how much health they have left. Let's see, if I remember correctly... There's some way we get up to that area. Do we have to run by this giant first, is the question. I think that might be what we need to do. Can't kill the giant just yet. guys here. Oops. 
looks like we got that guy's attention. Maybe? Just shot a fireball at that pew. Okay, yeah. We've got their attention. sword guys are going to be a little more of a challenge. Fire a few arrows at him. See so if we can land a headshot. Ah, thought I had the backstab. Need some stamina. Oh! Land, get some hits in! guy down. Don't look forward to facing the guy with a big ol' sword. Maybe we can just uh, give him a wide berth. An ember. Always useful. This should be our shortcut up to that area. Oh, well. Oh yeah, there's a lift right here. There's a Rosaria's chamber across the way. We'll get to there later. Open this very important shortcut. Which leads out the front entrance of the cathedral. Now, this is not a guy we spoke with before, so this is going to be some new story stuff. If you remember our friend Sigurd that we uh, met in the Undead Settlement, we fought a demon together. This is him right here. Mm -hmm. Well, you look reasonably sane. I am a knight of Katarina. I've managed to track down this cathedral's store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Treasure. Hmm. <laughs> Always so close, yet so far. I'm in quite a pickle, <laughs> indeed. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, in my last playthrough, I met Sigurd the one time at the settlement, but we never ran into him again, so I... Uh, his story is one of the ones I'm looking forward to finishing. So, let's see. Just hold your horses a moment. I know, I know. Treasure is so sorely tempting. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Just hold your horses a moment. Okay. I... So, if I remember last time, uh, we went through the rafters and got down on that side and we activated the lever which lifted this partition. There was no way to lift it on this side. So, uh, I guess he was able to lift it this time and we can just get across to Rosaria's chamber. Alright. Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> Shame on you! Thought you could outwit an onion. Oops. I don't think that's well, the word. Say hello to the nice giant. He adores visitors. Uh oh. Well, at least we killed one giant. <laughs> Looked like the uh, guy um, 
um, that locked us in the uh, Firelink Shrine Tower. Are we just down here? Oh, I guess maybe we don't have to fight the giant? That's nice. Cool. Well, we can actually get back just by taking the shortcut. We don't have to run through the giant sludge again. Let's see if we can make our way back. go back the way that we usually get to the front entrance we can get back into the cathedral right at that area no problem excuse me oh, do we solve my torch sure do Still off the shortcut right here. I could have sworn we would have had to fight that giant, but I don't know. I'm not complaining. Let's let that gentleman patrol down. Door is open. Wonder if he's still there. Nope. Maybe we have to kill the giant first. I wonder, I mean we had a, our our awesome arrow strategy with the last giant. Might as well try it here. Got 21 arrows of these arrows left. I have some other arrows I can use as well. And headshots did seem to do more damage. Oh, looks like it landed. Don't see a health bar though. You know, it must have to be like awake and stand. Oh, I saw a health bar. I zoomed out. Yep. Oh, we did almost no damage at all. It must have to be, like, awake and attacking me in order to actually deal a, a non-insignificant amount of damage. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we should probably try fighting that giant anyway. We've got a shortcut to it. For completion's sake. And then we can uh, say hi to Rosaria and then uh, say hi to the Deacons of the Deep. These guys are just trashing whatever's near them. That's really strange. Well, I don't need to fight them. I can just jump off here. Let's S this up to be safe. Oh yeah, we've got those oozes to fight as well. I wonder how many oozes we can fight before aggroing the giant. Do 
we hit it? Is it coming towards us? I think it's coming towards us. It's very difficult to tell. That one's coming towards us. Wow, can I maybe land a hit? Nope, I can't. Giant. Hey pal. Uh -oh. Poorly. Okay, it's going back to sleep. Let's see if we can uh, clear some more slimes. the attention of a few of them. Oops, out of arrows. Probably shouldn't waste these arrows. Wood arrows. Okay. Oh, I think we hit it. It's not moving though. Oops. There we go. Slowly but surely. Looks like there's another one over there. Just need to get their attention. Is. None of them seem to want to come and say hi. I wonder how much my melee swings are going to do against this giant. Pretty sure I killed it last time though, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like doable. <laughs> it's too tall. Okay, so 
Oh, maggot man. Never mind. I appreciate I, I appreciate the giant wanting to fight just to be between the two of us. Oh! I think we got it. Nice. Let's get out our flame sword and finish off these oozes. Dung pie, fantastic. Drain shoes. Drain gauntlets. Oh, I sense a theme here. Yep. I think I remember Drang having something to do with Dark Souls 2, so I assume that's what the reference is. Pale tongue. Gross. Oh, is there something over here? There's an ooze on the ceiling, is there? Drang hammers. Yeah, we can't sprint in this. Alright. See, 85. How many souls do we need? Oh! Oh, we're just under the required amount to go level up. Oh, there's a few guys sitting in the pews. That's cool. Frame drops. Looks like I can just go on the lift. Looks like our friend's not here anymore. I guess he's. I guess he's not really our friend. Doesn't seem like he has our best interests at heart. But honestly, I'll I'll, uh, I'll talk to anybody who'll have me. Seems, <laughs> the Lothric seems like a pretty lonely place. Uh, let's get back to a bonfire. Oh. Excuse me. Actually, this won't get me back to a bonfire. I just realized. Could be lazy and just use sword fragment, or I could just die from this guy because I can't counterattack for some reason. Cool. All right. Well, let's get our souls back. And our revenge. Hey you, where do you think you're going? Alright, 
back to the bonfire. Let's go level up and then we'll hit the rafters and say hi to Rosaria. Oh, I need to ember up as well. Thankfully, I just got that ember recently. Welcome home, speak. Very well, then to take not. Alright. Uh, endurance, we're getting close to that 40 cap. So we'll have one more point in endurance, and I think we'll work on dexterity. And then. Gosh, either attunement, intelligence, or faith. Farewell, Ashen One. Right. Back to the grindstone. It's a testament to how well designed the uh, cathedral is where there's only two bonfires to, to go to. How well they're able to implement shortcuts that go to the same bonfire. Oh, yes. Yes, we are going this way. We're making a left. And up this lift. Sword's range. I don't think this is a lift. No. There's Bell. So roots growing everywhere. I think we'll take a bit of fall damage, not too much though. There's probably some foreshadowing about some ambushes we can expect. Oh. I don't think I didn't see that axe. Should lead inside. Yeah, there we are. Oh. 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 You can probably you can probably get pretty liberal about SSC since we're once we get to there's a bonfire right where Rosaria is, so it's not too far to go. Can. Probably some kind of ambush waiting for us. Arbalest.
you get better at estimating my sword's range. Oh! Bye bye. Pale tongue. I believe that's a PvP thing. Okay. Oh, I've got these guys. Well, we have these guys and we have the big armored guys up here to deal with. So thankfully the, the armored guys they're capping isn't so good. So as long as you can just lead them in a chase around these rafters, they'll slip and fall eventually. So that's going to be the plan. Oops. <laughs> Didn't even have to fight that guy. Let's see if we can leave this guy. Yeah. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Okay. Yep, there he is. <laughs> that was not too hard. Let's grab this item. Blessed gem. Neat. Got a few more of these armored guys to deal with. Let's see if we can land a headshot. Oh. Navigate this. Oh, you can. Okay. What about this? <gasps> there we go. And there's my souls. That, and the signal that he fell. try and watch this guy get over here. Oh, no, he's just gonna shoot me. Dang it. He's smart. So we have to get close enough that he'll opt for his uh, melee weapon and make his way over here rather than the crossbow. There we go. Okay. I don't even want to try and like dodge and weave his attacks on such a narrow and precarious uh, ground. Oh, there he goes. Bye-bye. And some souls for our trouble. Alright. I think that's all of them. And we just need to jump down to this platform. Take some fall damage. Swig some Estus. And drop down to this. No, let's, let's let wreck these candelabras first. We do. I thought there was like a bunch on the ceiling that dropped down. I don't see them? Huh. 
Oh. Oh, is this the guy? It's not in his armor anymore. Ah? Huh? Y yes Hello. Oh, I don't believe we've met. I'm Patches. Unbreakable Patches. But you seem to be unkindled. Do you have business with me? Ah, oh, oh, you know yes, who I am. Of course. It's coming back to me now. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was my hand, as you know. But, but the deed, well, that was the armor's doing. Regrettable, truly. But behold, I'm stripped clean of that unruly attire. Look at you. Not a scratch. All's well that ends well, right? Yes, we'll be fine. I can tell. It's that rotten curse. It is. The untidy mess. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yes. Now, it wasn't me. But, but, but you still deserve an apology. Just a little trinket. Go ahead. It's yours now. Oh, that's nice of him. <laughs> you should know, I'm a kind of uh, traveling merchant. If you're as unkindled as you look, you'll find plenty of good stuff. All right. Well, he's selling that armor, and uh, I know he tried to kill us, but we do need to buy this armor eventually, so... Let's go ahead and get it. I think we have enough souls. You'll see why we need this armor in just a little bit. Thanks, good comp. Oh, can't resist it, can you? <laughs> oh, I can't talk to him anymore. Okay. Can't find anything in him? Well, you could try looking a little harder. You know what? You're alright, Patches. I know you tried to kill me, but appreciate you owning up to it. Let's raise that partition, because why not? Uh, are there more? Yeah, there's maggot guys up there. So we can clear this room out. Here, we should run around so we don't get ambushed. <laughs> I appreciate all the work that from software's animators put in to make these guys look as gross as possible. Oh, so they really love their craft of gross stuff. Ah, that's the guy we just killed from last episode. Cool. Ah, okay. So, uh, I think, um, if we, uh, if we get pale tongues from PvP, we can use them to redo our stats or our appearance, but we don't need to do that now. Oops, train drops. Come on, and get through it. Let's light this bonfire. And we'll go back once again. Okay, come on, buddy. You got it. You got this. To cleansing chapel. Turns out, our old pal Sigurd was here. He just misplaced his armor.
Oh. I know that voice. Just how long has it been? It's me! Siegfried of Katarina! I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. Someone's swiped my armor. Did you happen to see it anywhere? Here we are. Yikes. These frame drops are annoying. Okay. One last bit of business here, and that's the Deacons of the Deep. Don't like the idea of facing them with this frame drop, though. Rosaria's bedchamber is probably the quickest way to the boss. Luckily, we don't have to face them alone. to restart the game or something. This is unplayable. So I'm going to cut the video here and restart the game. See if that fixes things. I'll be back in just a little bit. Hey everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for, uh, being patient while I troubleshoot it a bit, troubleshot, and I think I found a janky fix for the frame drops that involved taking a uh, game render DLL file outside of my Steam folders and putting it in a folder on my desktop. I have no idea why that even is a fix or the inner workings that explain it fixing the situation, but that seems to be working so far, and uh, we should be ready to face down the Deacons of the Deep, and then we can close out the episode. Uh, thankfully, our friends Henri and Horus can actually help us out during this fight, so we're going like, to summon their help real quick. There's Henri. I think we can also get Horus in. So let's see if we can wave to Henri. Hello, Henri. She's not looking at me at all. Anyway, it doesn't matter. They'll still help us with this fight. What's up, Horus? And he also turns his back to me as I wave. Anyway. Let's go fight some deacons. Nothing else though. We can help with some crowd control. Need to get close to the red guy. be 
cool if those guys, each of these guys gave souls when they killed them, but it's probably a little too indulgent. Probably need to ask this in just a little bit. Now's a good time. Then as soon as possible, we start channeling that really mean spell that damages you no matter where you are. Just get a few more hits in. I got knocked down. I don't know why. Oh, you gotta get it out of there. And that should do it. Everybody still alive? Yep. Alright, nice work guys. Thanks for the help. And they're gone. Didn't even wave back. <sighs> so rude. Anyway. Hopefully that will... That should solve the issues with stuttering in the future. But uh, I'm going to close out the episode here and when we get back... I'm going to see if there's any lo story loose ends I need to tie up before heading into Fair and Keep, and then we'll uh, start into Fair and Keep and do stuff there. So until then, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.